everybody, my next guest has appeared in comedy clubs and colleges all around the country, and you've seen him on Deaf Comedy Jam. Show your love for a funny young brother. Put your hands together right now, y'all. Mr. Dean Edwards. Dean Edwards, y'all. Yeah, 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 yes, 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 yes. Apollo, how y'all feeling? Now y'all just saw my man L, y'all felt that. that. That right there was hip hop at its best, right there. That's, and that's what I'm talking about. That's what I miss in hip hop nowadays because we got, we got a few problems with hip hop. I'm gonna say this and, and let it go. I'm, I miss the notorious B.I.G., bro. God bless the dead. I miss Big, cause you know what? Big did something that nobody else could do in hip hop over the last 15, 20 years. Biggie made it cool to be a big brother. <laughs> he made it cool because they never had good representation. Who they had before? They had the fat boys. The fat boys were just nasty, just <laughs> And Chubb Rock, Chubb was nice, but Chubb wasn't realistic. As big as he is, he ain't supposed to be singing and dancing at the same time. 1990 Chubb Rock, <laughs> But my man, Biggie, Biggie let you know, as soon as the record came on, Biggie let you know he was a big brother. As soon as the record come on, what'd you hear? You heard <laughs> And that was him licking them fingers and <laughs> And then you heard, oh, oh. And that let you know that that's a big brother. He hungry. Biggie's cool. But you know what? I'm gonna say this also because they say like, you know, God bless the dead, Big and Pac are gone, but they say that gang violence took their lives, and I don't know if that's true, but they're saying that, you know, now gangs are trying to infiltrate into New York City. And I know we got enough problems with cab drivers without having, you know, just dealing with gangs. And I'm gonna say this, gangs have changed over the last, you know, 15, 20, 30 years, because gangs used to be fun. Gangs are more or less extracurricular activities. Because you look at some of the gangs we grew up on when we were younger. Look at like the gangs in West Side Story. Those gangs were fun because they never fought. They just sang real harsh lyrics to one another. And it was smooth. They would sing you into joining the gang. They would serenade you and you'd be like, you know, man, I need to join a gang. I don't know if I want to be a shark or a jet. Or a shark, jet, shark, jet, shark, jet. And the guy come out the shadows. Hey, guy! You need to, they would dance everything out. You need to join our gang. <laughs> well, why, why should I join your gang? Because I'm a jet. Well, what's so great about being a jet? What's so great about being a jet? Let me tell you. When you're a jet, you're a jet all the way from your first cigarette to your last dying day. Listen, you're never alone, never disrespecting. Then, then, your home is your home. Your company is expected. <laughs> Wait up. And I'm saying, I go out, I go out just to enjoy myself, but brothers get mad over little. I went to this club. This brother going to get mad at me. Cause he was standing on my foot. <laughs> now I figured it's my foot, I want my foot back. I had that right. Figured take a walk, bring it with me. And the DJ was like, now nah, everybody say ow. And I said, ow, he was. Yo, my man, yo, son, yo, what you trying to, you trying to disrespect me? You trying to play me out? I don't let nobody talk me any kind of way. So I was like, nah, man, I ain't mean nothing by it. I ain't mean nothing. <laughs> he was like, no, nah, I think I got to hurt you. I said, why I gotta be on the, I'm gonna cut you. I said, why I got, I'm gonna kill you. I said, yo, man. Boy, boy, crazy. Hey, yo, Apollo, I love you guys. Me, Dean, Edward, please.